Hello everyone, Don Don here again with the next update on the War Corsair project. Uh, sorry I wasn't able to get this put out yesterday, but had the company show up at the end of the day and uh, wasn't able to get it in, it got too late. So, Plus I wanted to do a little bit more to have something to uh, post this week. Uh, didn't get much done this week. I had to do some work on my uh, daily driver. and uh, But I ended up uh, getting set up to run the um, oven again to try and form another canopy out of uh, the last piece of plexiglass I had. So there's the everything set up there. But it didn't turn out so well. First thing the problem was is I ended up, I couldn't remember exactly the temperatures I needed. I knew it was in the 3 to 350 range and I was shooting for 350. 325 is what they say you need. Well, I was going for 350 and I wasn't even at 350 and the thing uh, blistered. All them little specks are bubbles because it got too hot. That's that's the side that's closest to the heating elements. I started out the oven really low temp and I bring it up 10 degrees Celsius at a time, let it work up so the elements aren't on really hot because this will, is what can happen to the plexiglass that's over top of the heating elements which is at the base of the cabinet. So. So I bring it up temperature real slow and then it starts drooping and as it droops I slide it over and it droops down into the cabinet and then once I get it on the upper side of the cabinet I'm usually pretty good. Well I was bringing it up to temperature and I only was up to like 170 and I needed to get to 180 Celsius to get about 350-ish. And uh, I looked into the window and seen that and I was like, well, it's junk. So I went ahead and I grabbed the mold anyway to see what it would do and I pressed it down in there and because of all these bubbles it actually snapped off right here about five inches worth so I said well that's done so I took it out and hung the sheet up and it just kind of sprung back to a flat sheet and I just let it hang I clamped it in the vise on the other end of the boards and it pretty much straightened out and I got to think you know what that's this is extra long let me go ahead and reclamp it so I reclamped it again and the second problem I had is the piece of wood I was using was a piece of pine had some knots in it and you can see here it uh, started weeping uh, sap and that's what this is this is sap running down the sides of this thing so that you know ruined it as well but it still worked I was able to stretch it and I had the mold left in it I had the mold set in there with 30 pounds of weights in there and this curve was actually all the way out to here and it was all the way back into here so it was a much bigger bubble so I left the door open just let it set and this thing uh, did a spring back. It's it's it sprung back to try to go flat again and then when it was all all cooled down it was like this much off of the pattern out here touched here and the same thing in the back so uh, so you basically got to sit there and hold the damn thing for several minutes until it hardens up enough but just ha just setting on its own with 30 pounds of weight that thing uh, set back. I mean it was forming nice but it was ruined from the start and that was the last piece of plexiglass I had so so that was a wash. So I have to use the original one. And here's what I got done. I just finished cutting this out, uh, sanding it down to shape. And I did go ahead and drill and tap all the holes all the way around. These are little 632 screws. They're, they're countersinks. They're not countersunk yet. I need to get five more. I run out. But I need to finish trimming this flush along the edge but all the holes are drilled all the tubing is tapped so now all I need to do is countersink everything but these screws are going to hold this in too so down here on the bottom where the screws come in it's going to come right through the sheet metal aluminum right into the plexiglass into the tube so these all have to be pre-drilled and dimpled enough for this for these little screws to set flush in there and then this has to be uh, countersunk enough so that this will set flat. So right now it's, it's not setting flat because the screws are back there. But that's one piece all the way around as you can see. It gives you the gist of it. And this is basically like the shade part. I can't make that into this piece. It's you got compound bends there. But that's only basically half of it. This was stretched out to both sides and I folded it in half because to make it universal both sides. So I got to cut another sheet of aluminum out to fit this and that's should mold around there fairly good but it's going to be just long enough to tuck underneath here. Uh, but then this will, of course will get 
screws down through it all the way through the frame all the way around and then I still have to make this last strip here and the strip may help cover up some of this uh, little dip dip here if I make it big enough it's, it's only going to be no thicker than this probably a little thinner than that and then the windshield uh, you can see the sheet of aluminum here on the table where I cut this thing out um, this big section here you can see where it's went around this way to make this piece this big cutout right here should be big enough to do the windshield and then I still have enough material out here to cut my five inch strips I need for the uh, covering the wings in the bottom but this sheet is four foot by four foot uh, it's 032 and then there's the uh, I should have enough I can need the two strips and then I need to make the little pads that go on the front of the landing gear so so I'm not going to bother making another canopy at this time. I'm just going to go ahead and get this one on there, get this all finished up, painted, and I'll use either some kind of double-sided tape uh, or uh, you know like carpet tape, which is double-sided, to help hold that tight to this uh, canopy. But it, it turned out pretty nice. Let me flip it up here on the edge, <coughs> so you can see it's all the way pretty much flush with this. I'm going to end up trimming some of this off because when this was on and screwed on there this was a little too tight on the can on the fuselage just dragging real hard so once this is on I could trim this all the way back up into here and it won't matter I'll just trim it down see the corner sticking out a little bit but I can trim most of this off and just leave a little bit on there because this will still the aluminum itself will still hang down so that's kind of what it looks like right now and I do have enough blue paint left that I'll be able to paint this when it's uh, finished and I'll scotch bright it real good, clean it, prime it, and then shoot on that. So that's kind of what it looks like. So I got one more strip cut out, do the front, and then the windshield I'll just pop it out. It's already pre-molded and that was just a flat sheet curved so that'll be real easy to make that one. And it's going to be a little harder because I've got to cut out three things in there. So the windshield will have uh, two strips of if you go back and see my videos when this was all fiberglassed up in the airplane, uh, that looked super great. But then when I painted it, the paint caused the, it was uh, Lexan, it caused the Lexan to craze and ruined it. So I had to cut it out. Well, at least now I can replace it from on. Uh, that's only going to have one row of screws across the top edge and around the front of it. I'll just uh, silicone RTV or some sort that in the bottom uh, seam seal or something like that to kind of seal it in case any rain gets down in there so so that's kind of where we're at folks <clears throat> that's pretty much all I got done this week and again here's the mold and this is where that um, stuff uh, leaked out of the wood the sap the pine sap so if I ever go to use this again I'll have to get a new cover what I may try doing is, my original idea was to make this as just a plug mold to make a female mold. Um, but I'll, I may make a female mold to match this and then use them both. Put the female mold down, drop plexi in there, and then use this to squish it down in there and sandwich it between the two pieces. And that way I'll get my good curve. But I did end up, like I said, I cut the front of this off. So that's basically right at the windshield. So it won't, won't do the little... Uh, won't do a little rooster tail here <coughs> so this needs to throw it out this fabric flannel otherwise that's pretty much what I've done nothing else on the fuselage everything like I said everything from the tail back is done everything inside is pretty much done other than wiring for power from my radio and another power lead for the GPS but again this will this will come out I'll just unscrew these uh, these still need countersunk more anyway, but this frame comes up around here around here And it's got two little strips here, which you know, I could leave them off and give me a better view ahead But it's one of them things if it gets, it gets to be a problem I can just go in and cut them out later and just leave it open like that But to make it look correct, you know, I'm gonna start with it so All right, it's just gonna be the <laughs> short update for this week uh, by next weekend, I'll have that canopy done, probably all finished painted and on. Windshield frame will be in and done. Even that windshield uh, needs to be trimmed a little. It's a little, little long here. It should be flush with this. And then this owl has to be cleaned up and painted. It's rusty from, that was all originally uh, epoxied in. 
in here now, so it's I had to uh, clean off all the old epoxy, so it's I got to clean that up, throw some primer on it. I got some zinc chromate I can maybe paint it and just leave it to zinc. So, okay, folks, I'm going to cut her short this week. As always, appreciate everyone taking the time to watch these videos. Uh, feel free to leave any comments, questions, or concerns, and I'll answer them as they come along. So otherwise, uh, that's going to do it for this week. And uh, hopefully next weekend I won't have any holdups and you'll be able to see this canopy on. And then the last thing to deal with is the landing gear uh, doors, gear doors. So, all right, folks, uh, appreciate it again, and uh, we'll see you next week. This is Dinodon, out.